Fantastic certainly is a victim of its own success, um, simply because it's such a highly engineered and tailored product. But on the other hand, it's also extremely easily disposed of. One of the, the challenges with plastic is some of the great attributes of it, the fact that it can be very low cost. Because it's low cost, you have a consumer who doesn't appreciate that value in the resource, and maybe it isn't being disposed properly. Today, the issue with uh, plastic waste mismanagement is at a point where it's really a crisis. The vast majority of 350 million tons or so of plastic that is produced a year goes to landfill. There's incredible value in changing that dynamic. I think society, with all the negative misconceptions about plastic today, forgets about how often we touch plastic throughout the day. From in the morning when we wake up, brush our teeth, put on clothes that contain plastic, go out for that run, use a water bottle that's made of plastic. It all comes down to how we handle our plastic waste. My name is Cassie Bradley. I'm the Sustainability and Circular Economy Commercial Manager for North America at Ineos Styrolution. Ineos Styrolution is the number one global leader in styrenics. So traditionally, we've been producing material that comes from fossil fuels. However, in recent years, we've been evaluating new upcoming technologies that will enable us to create polystyrene and our other products ultimately from recycled material. We have three partners that we're working with in North America. And Agilex, they're located out in Oregon. They have a depolymerization technology that converts polystyrene waste back into styrene monomer raw material. Our broad mission statement is to take plastic recycling from 10% to 90%. So with the Agilex process, we take all types of polystyrene, foams, rigids, films. We process them so they're easier to handle. We combine those materials into a feedstock for our reactor. The heat in the reactor breaks the polymers, turns it to a gas. The gas is taken off and quenched to an oil that then a company like Ineos can use so it is able to go back into food contact products, into pharmaceutical grade products. It can be used for anything the original virgin material could be used for. My name is uh, Mohamed Aboud. I am a product manager for Ineos Starolution. I'm part of a team uh, working on our sustainability project. It's a very exciting project for us. Myself and Cassie and others in the organization looking at how can we minimize waste? How can we drive into a more circular economy? Today we are visiting uh, PyroWave, one of our partners uh, here in Canada. They utilize the microwave technology to, drive, to run their process. And uh, essentially what that gives you is very good yields and very efficient way to convert the plastic waste back into the raw materials. PowerWave is a technology company. We've uh, developed a unique technology using microwaves to break down polystyrene into monomer. Because we have this powerful microwave element, we're able to maintain much more the structure of the monomer and we do not have to do an extensive amount of purification afterwards. And so we have the distillation column that, that essentially removes the impurities and enables the recovery of virtually pure styrene monomer that can be shipped and used as a virgin application. Green Mantra has been processing mixed plastics into products like polymer additives, inks, and dyes for several years now. We use and have developed technologies that allow us to redesign the molecule of a plastic and create different types of polymers. We do a lot of research on understanding upcycling of plastic, but also the value that it can create for the, the industries that we sell into. And the partnership that we have, it allows both sides to leverage their expertise. And we have a common goal which is we want to divert as much polystyrene from landfill as possible, and we want to create a circular system for the plastic. Circular economy is where you have the things that are in the system stay in the system. You don't really have much waste. You make sure that you are not consuming uh, more resources than you need. The type of partnership we have with Ineos Styrolution can really prove how you can take a waste stream and through a, an innovative process, you can turn it into a valuable product usable in their process. These type of partnerships really can demonstrate the value of circular economy and how we can return waste into the loop. We don't see banning all plastics. 
but we see the need to find a way to recycle and reuse plastics to make that circular economy and to make people realize that plastics are the best solution for what they're currently used for. I am very excited about this. When people hear recycling, you always think of downcycling, things that you make very little value. And now we have a recycling technology that allows you to capture the full value, really no waste, and you can do this as many times as, as you wish. I think that's, that's great. As a chemical engineer, I'm living the dream, being able to take new ideas and bring them to market.